Hey guys, Dangles here. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick tip in Caustic 3 how to set up a sidechain compressor. This is a song I prepared earlier, very basic, just for the purpose of this tutorial. So I'll play that for you now and then I'll apply the sidechain compression and show you the difference. Okay, here we go. Okay, as you can hear, the synths are clashing with the drums and things are all over the show, so we're going to clean that up. Let me show you what to do. I've set up this beatbox with a kick half a measure apart. You can use any kick. Okay, I'll head over to the mixer and you want to make sure the volume is at zero because you don't want the kick to hit, you want it to activate the sidechain compression and then you want to set the sidechain up like so I want to head back over to the effects section on the synths you want duck down you want to add the compressor effect to each of them and you want to set the sidechain number at the bottom to correspond to the sidechain beatbox channel we're using. So we'll set that to number 5. Set the lead to number 5 also. And the bass line will set to correspond to the chords because we want the chords to activate the compression in the bass line. So you want to turn the thresholds right down, turn the attack right down. Basically this is over compression, this is compression at its maximum in caustic. So now I'll show you the difference. Okay, as you can see, the synths have been ducked down, allowing the drums to sound bigger. If you want a more detailed description on the compressor, you can head over to the Caustic website and check that out. Okay, I hope this helped.